Mic test, mic test. Hello everyone and welcome back to another Buddy Bison stream. I hope we're all having a wonderful day today. I hope we're all prepared to have some fun back in a great PlayStation 2 game where I'm playing it totally on a legitimate PlayStation 2. Don't worry about it, but that, that's totally how it's working. <laughs> today we are playing some more Sly Cooper 1, the Thievius, and the Thievius Raccoonus. So let's start game uh yeah so last time we did uh tide of terror we did sunset snake eyes fight against what raleigh um and mugshot and he's playing a video game uh and we are going to haiti down to the bayou so let's start so hopefully tonight we'll be able to get through this one and the next one, and then we'll just have the final level. Ms. Ruby. Ms. Ruby. Born into a family of mystics, other children found her scary. Teaching herself to summon the undead provided what few friends she had. A 
career in crime allowed an adult Ms. Ruby to punish the world for fearing her as a child. Chief Mystic for the right. Fiendish Five, her powers allowed them to break both the laws of man and nature at the same time. Yet despite the whirlwind success of her youth, she managed to slip into obscurity. Last known sightings claim she headed out of civilization and deep into the Haitian jungle. Okay. So, gotta love it. Bad, bad, uh, vicious voodoo. Uh, oh, love it. Love these title cards. But, uh, yeah, you gotta, gotta like that. Had a bad childhood? Turned to necromancy. <laughs> you know, as you do. Okay. So, here's what we're doing. So, yeah. Here we go. Uh, oop. Oh, wait, did I? I feel like I... I think that was a thing where last stream I was surprised that I got uh, waterproof so early. Okay, so I can fall in water now. You don't believe in ghosts, do you? Sure I do. My scanners have picked up verifiable paranormal activity. But that's not a problem. I'm a science man, and I believe in ghosts. Suck it up, Bentley. We got work to do. All right, then. Don't forget to use the new move you learned from Mugshot section of the Thievius Raccoonus. You mean the Raccoon Railwalk? The roots and vines yeah, are Railwalk. perfect for that. All you gotta do is jump and hit the circle button. Especially where you see the bark has been worn away. Yep. <laughs> and where it's super slick from Mickey Slime and Moss, you'll rail slide like a skater grinding pipe. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Is that a is that a fungus joke? Cause liking. Yeah. So we got these now, and yeah. So I remember. I remember very little about these levels in particular, because this is probably like my least favorite, like level set of all of them. Like I like. Uh, I liked Mugshot's levels a lot as a kid, so I replayed those a lot. Uh, so I had some idea of what I was going into. These are the levels where I probably had the least uh, enjoyment because I didn't I didn't like the atmosphere of the levels. So because I was I was I'm still a scaredy cat. <laughs> um, so I didn't play them nearly as much. All I remember is basically what I. Uh, did when I played the game on the PS Vita, um, and that was a while ago, so I don't quite remember. Uh, okay. Well. Okay, I tried to do fancy triangle, but, uh, did not, was not, that was not receptive. Uh... So I guess I loop around and get through there, maybe? Or is there... Or is that like a way up? Hmm. <laughs> okay, well, it's only 20, so hopefully it shouldn't be... Hopefully it shouldn't be too bad. I'm just gonna assume that I can't get there yet. So that thing separates into two different things, I guess. Seems. Have to be careful of that. Oh, 
Okay. Tried to be careful of it. <laughs> Did not. It didn't take it. <laughs> uh, I think these annoying enemies are also why I did not care for, uh, why I did not care for it. Uh, the level set. Because, you know, in a game like this where you only have one hit, it, uh, unless you get the boosters, uh, it kinda is annoying <laughs> to deal with enemies that take more than one hit. Because you're... That just means, like, you have so much more danger, right? Because you have to hit them more than once, but they only have to hit you once. Yeah, and it's... It's contact... Hey, Mr. Light! Is this uh, game in a weird sort of cell shading art style? Um, I don't think it's necessarily weird. It's definitely... I mean, this is from the PS2 era, so... Uh, I think it more is just the art style itself. I w it's not uh, like... Uh, like I, would as I wouldn't associate this with like the Borderlands-esque art style, like cell shading. But I'm also not good at identifying art styles and naming them, so it's very possible. How are you doing? Hope you're doing well tonight. Okay, so let's hit it once, and then you run away. And you do that, because that's the only way I can reasonably think to do it. Gonna be a pro at this one very specific section. Okay. Okay, you... Okay, good. Just able to... Save a little bit. Get you guys. Let's come over here. Get this. Desperately need it. Okay. So if I remember right, there. No, there, okay. I already got that. There we go. I have the swimming power, so I don't take any damage anymore from falling in the water. Okay, don't miss that. Okay, I'm gonna presume uh need to jump over to there. Boom. Okay. You're doing things. Okay. You're interesting. This rat. You rat bastard. Okay. Bum, bum, bum. There we go. Okay, I remember this specific area pretty darn well. Um, out of it, because there are going to be some ghosts. Tomorrow's the last day of school year. Whole school's going crazy with garbage and request for us to study. Ah, okay. Well, hopefully it'll be a bit easier after that. enough come in here okay if I did my math right and I always do my math he always right, does Bentley smart then the combination has got to be five eight eight five eight eight 
There we go, baby. Hey, yo, baby, I'm getting another fucking page of this book. Electrofied. Tell him the Cooper's notes on how to harness the electromagnetic field created by a rolling raccoon. Now your raccoon roll move will really pack a punch. Plus, it should give you a nice tingling sensation. Nice. So now my roll is an electric roll. So now it's an attack instead of just movement. I'm uh, not sure how useful the attack is, but it's good that I have it. So let's, uh... Of course, the, uh... Yeah, there we go. <laughs> of course, it takes a while to even move around in it because of how annoying the thing is. Okay, so there is... Oh, yeah, here's the last candle. You've done it! The Mojo Force Field is down! Boom. There we go. Easy as pie. I didn't die, like, four times in this level. <laughs> Against trees. <laughs> now, they were voodoo trees, so they were really tough, so don't blame me. But, you know. We're not worried about it. I'm still... You know, I, I, have to, I have to shake off the rust. I have to shake off the cobwebs, right? You know, I haven't played this game in a week, you know? It's not turn-based like, uh, Trails in the Sky. It's not easy to jump into. A reading like that can only be coming off Ms. Ruby herself. I think you're right, Sly. If you want to crack at Ms. Ruby, you're going to have to find a way inside that skull temple. Hmm. Okay, so... Let's go down. See, I think, um, I think this is one of the areas that has all of the levels available from the get-go. Like, they're not separated very much. Uh, oh no, they're okay, there's, uh, separation there. Okay, so let's go to this one, because it seems easiest. I say seems easiest, it just seems available. <laughs> Easy to get to. The lair of the beast. Okay, so this is probably gonna be some kind of Watch bitch to do. Industrial strength voodoo gate. <laughs> industrial strength this voodoo gate. Industrialized voodoo. Just trying to keep something in. <laughs> and we're gonna go in there. Okay, so thirty. Yeah, got a nice little spiral staircase up. We got the hook. There we go. As well. Okay, need to get all these while I'm here. Because I don't think I'll be able to go back very far uh, once I'm done. Or once I get down. Okay. Okay. Have to have to get all those. Don't want any uh, anything attacking me while I'm doing the look around. See, I don't have the uh, blueprints for this area yet, so it'll be a bit difficult because I can't like double check any things. Like, oh yeah, no, I've gotten all of them. Like behind me. Not gonna be able to do that. <laughs> Have to hit circle when you jump off. Okay. Oop. Damn it. <laughs> I'm a fool. That one I didn't even need to jump off. I just did. Um, could just hit it. So yeah. Okay. Over there's the key. Always want to take a look around when you're jumping areas, cause there may or may not be uh, things that you're missing. Oh god damn it! There we go. Did not want to get hit by the mosquito. Mosquitoes, like. 
in this game, like older games, just in general, I feel like depth perception is a bit harder to deal with uh, in enemy size as well. Like, I'm, it's always hard for me to tell, like, okay, when does an enemy's hitbox start versus where does it end? So it's uh, so it's a bit tough with uh, the mosquitoes because they're smaller than I would think. Okay. There we go. Yeah, like uh, it always takes at least one missed swipe to get the to get the mosquitoes, which is kind of annoying. Okay. Yeah, you know, just swipe like no one's business and hope that they just kind of run into it. Okay. But luckily, your double jump takes you pretty far up the spirals, so. Oop. <laughs> that one zipped me pretty far. I was hoping I could go a little bit farther up the rail, but. It decided to shoot me super far along the rail. Okay. Luckily, you can just kind of force yourself back up. It's not too difficult, uh, which is which is nice because being able to go back is one of the better parts. Oop. Come on. Yeah, need that. Yeah, we'll, we'll take that. We'll take that weird movement. Okay, that's fine. I'll take that. Because now I can just focus on playing the game and escaping like the game wanted me to in the first place. But, see, the thing is, I don't know if, um... Okay, so that time I got hit, apparently. I don't know how. Uh, okay, big-ass anaconda-looking thing. Okay, I don't know... Where... Ah, uh, over there, okay. I was like, where was the safe? And it's right at the end. Come on, get, get off. <laughs> I had to Thank you. To get the answer to this one. Oh, yeah? Try 444. Four, four, four. Four, four, four. <laughs> Easy enough. Okay, so unfortunately I lost my gold horseshoe completely, but didn't have to restart anywhere. And I got all the clues. Now, I'm curious to know if the snake would have broken the clues for me, but oh well. Ooh. Huh. Interesting. Curious as to what that actually means. Is it like each... Is it like each enemy is actually like a character? And it has like a little character page? Or if it's just like a tip on like, oh, this kind of enemy, approach them this way. Okay. Yeah, that's uh. Yeah, Mojo Dupree, Rodentia Vudium enjoys golf. Okay, so it is actually like their own little thing. Okay, so let's come back out over here. Uh, view map. Okay, so I think I'm going into this one right now. Damn it. <laughs> I need to... Nope. Nope. Is it R1? No, is it L2? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I want 
dive. I just like the attack. A grave undertaking. Okay, I'm doing literally every level uh, that I thought I wasn't. So, ooh, okay. It's never, it's never great when they uh, hand you a uh, hand you a life free of charge. That's how you know it's gonna be uh, a toughie. So, boom, now I have a gold, so that's nice. But I gotta be careful. Okay. Yeah? Okay, sounds good. Okay, so I'm curious to know, like, against the tree things. Right, like, if I use the electric ball against the tree, am I just, like, immune to damage entirely when I'm in that? Or is it, like, I can still get damaged if it's a, um... I can still get damaged if it's, like, a damage attack. Right? Uh, no, 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 no. There we go. Keep trying to do L1 because in my brain that's, like, the best button for it, but that's not the button. <laughs> uh, okay, so now we're coming over here. Okay, it's gonna lead upwards somewhere. Yeah, I've never been a fan of like paranormal uh, setting. God damn it. <laughs> the roll sucks. Okay, get those. I'm at 11 out of 40. Okay. Like, the roll is so unwieldy to use. Oh, god damn it. Because I need to get all of them. Two, three, okay. Yep, yep, yep. Going around this. is this? Oh. See, sir, when they don't, when they're not flashing blue with uh, climb energy, super secret energy, I forget that I can even interact with them. So my brain, every, in my memory, everything that you can interact with is just like super blue and not just the like ledges. Okay. Okay. Was there any? Did I miss anything? Out over here? I don't think so. Okay, so I'm curious. So, they said all enemies. So, Marcel Woodfish and Devoted Ecology. Okay, yeah, so they're all, they're all slightly unique. That's neat. Okay, so electric does not do shit. Okay, cool. Took two hits immediately. Love it. Wasted that. Wasted that. 
Easily the worst enemy I have encountered so far in the game. Because holy crap, they are just unforgiving ones to fight. Okay, 20. God, only halfway through. Okay, here you go. Okay, up through there, and then those go, you go, those go, you go, and I can jump off there. Twenty five. Probably should have gone after I. Is there any any other stuff? No. Okay. Good. Okay, doing spins around them, wide spins, because they seem to be mostly just kind of like a very short forward lunge, and even then the lunge isn't exactly... Um... Okay, thank you. Okay, please go back up. Thank you. This game, man. This game is weird sometimes. At least it knows, because that's actually one thing with I think the with the, I think the Raleigh skip in the in the first level where it's like you trick the game into thinking you're in a fall state, and once you've fallen for enough time, the game is just assumes that you're in the boss fight, <laughs> which is funny. Because apparently it's counting how long you're actually in them. Are you freaking serious? That... Okay, 35. Okay. Missing one. serious. Like, I don't know where it could be. And I think I think it's the third I think it's the third best in every level is the uh, is the blueprints. So I'm missing one somewhere. Oh, that, mm. that really grinds my gears, because I don't want to have to go through the entire thing all over again. I, mean, I don't really have to, but... Oh, oh, he sucks when you're so close. Oh, well, I'll just take it. But I have to, I have, to have to go through all of it again for the thing. At least I know it's all the way at the end, and I can just hopefully run through. Um, uh, okay. So, I'm looking for... I haven't done that one. Piranha Lake. So, I did that one, and I went up. So, I'm guessing... Uh, over here. Here we go. Just crawling around at the speed of sound. Yep, probably. Like, I remember hating this level when I was younger. And even when I played it again on the PS Vita. Kind of sucks. Why, the only way to open up that voodoo gate is 
by lighting all 25 tiki torches with the flamethrower on your swamp skiff. Swamp skiff. Use the left analog stick to steer and press the X button to fire the flamethrower. Oh, and one more thing. You need fuel from the flamethrower, and the only source of oil are those piranha you see swimming around. Run them down with a boat. One fish fuels one shot. Hurry, you only have two minutes to get all the torches lit. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. used all of them? Okay. See, the key is to get a whole bunch at once. Uh, I think don't go for the singles, go for the groups. Because uh, otherwise it's going to take forever. Uh, though the worst part is having to what the hell? How did I not get that one? Ugh, I vehemently dislike this level. It's kind of why I'm glad that they didn't like do like anything like this in the second and third games. Okay. Okay, five. Thirty seconds to do. All the remaining torches. The unfortunate thing is I don't remember where all the torches I did and didn't do are. Uh, there we go, good, first try. I was worried about that. This is one level in particular that I was quite worried that I wouldn't be able to do um, easily. That and one more level in this area. <laughs> uh, see, the unfortunate thing is I don't, I, I don't know how many more levels in this in a uh, in this uh, world there are. That um. Uh, that are collect bottles and get uh, a safe. I think I don't think there are very many uh, left. Um, okay, so I did that one. Yeah, I did that one. Okay, so now I can uh, open this. Yoink. Okay, freeze it. What did you just release into the world? Absolutely terrifying. And it went right back. Thanks. Okay. So I took that out. I think that this is where I need to go like at the end. But you can keep on coming in here. Yeah, thank you. Looks like this is some kind of giant voodoo egg beater to stir up that unsanitary mess. We could do egg beater. I might be able to thrash their production and build up enough steam pressure to get launched up to Ruby Skull Temple. Okay, sounds Matt. like we've got a plan. <laughs> to get around that thing, try moving in the shadows made by the masks so that the guards won't see you. Sounds good. Okay. So this is Sand danger. Okay, so this is another. Uh, this is another one where I can get it. So hopefully I'll be able to get the blueprints and go back into the other level because uh, I really want to get all the things. Okay. 
Are you freaking serious, dude? Okay. So I can't jump over those. Presume I have to like drop down from above, maybe, where the others. Get out of here. Okay. Yeah, cause this goes up. Going up. Ugh, climbing up on all these bones. Who connected? Who? Where are all these bones from? Who connected them? That's my question. Well, what was killed that made su such a large carcass? So it must be from over there that you can drop down. Okay, any other clues back there? No, it doesn't look like it. Um, how do I deal with this? Go even further. Oh, yes, I can. There we go. When in doubt, sneak around. And I'm glad that they uh, glad that they don't listen to each other. <laughs> I think that's not the case in future games. I think in I think it's like a proximity awareness thing in future games. A twenty got. And then run all the way back. And hopefully the hopefully the second time will be a bit faster and easier. Because hey, there's not enemies to kill and dodge and juke and jive. Okay. Oh. Back. Ugh. I think I need to focus on better posture or something or do some back strengthening exercises. So I can get it like a right in that area, like not like the small of the back, but like a bit further up to like the side. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Great. Um, man, I'm really ripping through those lives in this world. I'm being fortunate because I got so many lives because I had like double gold horseshoes for a while, but now it's just like, oh yeah, no, we're we're gonna you had it too easy for a bit, so now we gotta make it a bit more difficult. <laughs> now luckily, the enemies kind of stay dead between lives based on whenever you get checkpointed, so that helps a lot. So let's see if I can't have this jump me. Nope. Okay. 
go this way. Yeah, th th this level is definitely annoying, because it's like, oh yeah, if you want to get all the clues, you gotta do it multiple times. <laughs> so you definitely do want to kill everything. Uh, oh well. And what you do for love. Although this isn't really love. This is... <laughs> This is being absolutely determined to get all the power-ups. And nothing else. Because <laughs> I'm I'm curious as to what the... Like, I can't quite remember what the like last things were. It's like all the powers definitely get better as you go, because it's a reward system. But um, I can't quite remember what they were like near the end. Because when I was a kid, I never really got all the clues. As a kid, I just kind of either used my brother's save file or uh, just went through pretty uh, easily. I didn't really try for him. Okay. Here we go. Go slowly. 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 Okay, thirty-two. It's, it's interesting now that I've reached a point in the uh, game where it's better for me to take a water, like just jump in the water to avoid a hit, because it's not going to, uh, <laughs> it, that's not going to damage me, and for however long I'm in the water, I'm actually safe, um, which is pretty neat, because, you know, earlier in the game, it's like, oh yeah, no, water is also death. Okay, 34, 36, 38, please let there be two somewhere, yes, thank you, thank you so much. Oh. Righteous. The combination has to be five seven one. Five seven one. Five seven one. Okay. This should be the blueprints. And now I can go back to the other one and try and get that chest. Okay, perfect. And I'll only have to get the one clue in that other one, because you keep the progress, as was uh, so kindly informed to me and experienced by me through the other... Uh, through the other uh, one. Oh, okay, that's neat. There we go, baby! 51%! Not going to be getting 100, because I'm not doing the time trials, but... 51%! Uh, okay, so let's... Come here, Grave Undertaking. So... Kind of on green. I think that's green. So it's over there. Okay, what the heck? 
Okay, so it's green on the other side of this wall. Okay, so. Yeah, let's just try and be safe here. safest thing I can do is ignore enemies because if I don't even fight them they can't hit me well if I if I don't even stay around to fight them they can't hit me oh, god damn it what the fuck oh you bastards thought I was safe See it? Okay, fuck you guys. I'm just gonna. Okay. There we go. Okay. Oop. Okay, I don't have as much safety as I wanted, but oh well. Here we go, give me that life. Okay, now I know where to go, so I need to go up on that rope on the other end. I'm not gonna set off the alarm this time, that way I can go faster. Here we go. Keep going and going going and we don't stop coming and we don't stop coming and we don't stop coming and we just keep going and we just keep going and we just keep going because luckily now it's just like okay now the end of the level is the goal okay there we go don't even bother with them just keep going. Okay, bastard. Just don't even bother. Don't even bother. Go as fast as possible. Okay, thank you. And there we go. Are you fucking serious? There? That's where you're gonna fucking kill me? Okay, fine. Fine. <laughs> That's how you want to play. Okay, can you not, please, you mosquito? to me please I don't know if that was there last time if it was I was a fool for not getting it but oh well get out of here yep come on come on give it to me give it to me give it to me I can taste it one two eight Okay, what power are you? What power are you, laddie? Mind bending. Mind bending. It's Matthew de la Coupe's perpetual de la Coupe. slow motion technique. Oh. With this move, you can slow down time whenever you want. Not just while jumping. Hold down the triangle button to use it. Okay, interesting. Don't know when that will be useful. That's the thing. Right? Because it's like, okay. Cool, you can slow down time. 
but is it like I guess it's probably more for um like control right be like okay I want to be able to control my ascent and descent certain times there we go okay I did that one. Okay, so now we're over here. Ah, uh, yeah, this one. A ghastly voyage. So, this is also one where it's no, uh... Okay. Yep. So this is like a twin stick shooter. Just have to, just have to protect myself. It's a very interesting level, I will say. They really wanted to make use of the swamp skiff asset. <laughs> I can tell you that. Hey, Fontana, how's it going, my bud? Hope you're doing good. Having fun, doing whatever, playing more Xenoblade, I presume. Did you hear that uh, the pre-orders or the special edition pre-orders for uh, Xenoblade 3 crashed the Nintendo site? Because apparently, like that's the only way you can get the special edition or something like that. Giant robots are a rough responsibility. Yeah, I, I was. Uh, I, uh, I lurked for a bit when you were trying out your, uh, I think it was when you were, like, away. It was, like, be right back was still on the screen when I was lurking in your stream with the, uh, because you got a new, uh, overlay, right? That was the thing where it's, like, uh, left and right borders. The game in the middle. Okay, let's just do that, get that enemy out. Probably makes sense. Now I just got some advice from my editor to change the dimensions and up the bitrate. Ah, okay. Yeah, the bitrate uh, would probably help uh, a bit. Uh, but damn, an editor? Shit. Look at look, look at you. Yeah, I, like see, that's one thing where it's like anytime I need stream advice, it's either like, "Hey guys, this does look fine while I'm on the stream," or Google, <laughs> how's it looking? Google, what is what does everyone else do? Any advice for me, please? Damn it! Not that guy. I mean, the Twitch editor. Ah, okay. Didn't even forgot that that was even a thing. It's gonna be real. Okay, good. Got. Uh, at least one thing back. There we go. Give them eyes arrow due to my repeated stream naps. <laughs> so they can force us. Ah, okay, okay. Makes sense. Let's... Fuck! Yeah, this... level in particular is not great. It's a twin-stick shooter, but this thing has 
like, momentum. So you can't, like, stop on a dime when you need to. No. Okay, there we go. Oh, you better collect those coins. <laughs> At least a couple of them. Some of them. Yeah. <sighs> the swamp's dark center. Okay, so I think that's most of them. I have, yeah, missing one. Okay, and is that a racing one? I can't remember. Down home. Oh, no, it's the chicken one. Oh, I hate this one. This one sucks. <laughs> <laughs> There's a reason why I didn't like the Bayou. <laughs> Glad to get out of here. Cut a deal with the ghost. Yeah, this one fucking sucks. Cause you got a minute and a half to uh, to whack 50, 50 chickens, but then there are these freaking roosters that also try to kill you after a while. Okay. Yep. Like that. So you, you know, you come in and it takes a life, which sucks. <laughs> and it's like, so it's like, oh yeah, if you just hang around only the doors, then, you know, you're more likely than not to uh, encounter a bomb rooster. But if you are just around and exist, then uh, you're not going to be really getting a lot of the chickens. So it kinda sucks balls. Yeah. This level is kinda the worst. Also given that you have less time than when you did the flamethrower level, <laughs> but have more individual things that you actually need to do. Yeah, like, and they're not slow. The chickens aren't slow. <laughs> they're, pretty, they're pretty quick. They have a Go to clip. I remember this level just being my absolute nightmare when I was replaying the game in on my Vita. Like, fucking just sucks. It's not fun. <laughs> and like, look at how long these roosters are going for. <laughs> those, the fuse on those roosters in particular was crazy. Okay, come on. Go. He's basically just kiting them, honestly, but still annoying. <laughs> come on. Still have to do it within the time limit. Uh, why'd I do that? Why'd I do that? Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Okay, good. There we go. Fucking good. Okay, only only took three tries. Oh god, that was. The fact that that's one of the hardest levels. <laughs> and you're just killing chickens. Says a lot. <laughs> Okay, so that is down home cooking. So now I need to get up here and unlock soup. Hey, thank you for the follow, Akiner or Akiner. How are you? How are you doing today? Sly tried jumping on the lid of that cauldron to build up steam pressure. Yep, I'm I know. Sure Okay, time for the Miss Ruby boss fight. Who's ready for a rhythm game? Yeah. 
They really like jumping you. Like, oh yeah, shoot you over to shoot you over to Raleigh, jump you up to Miss Ruby. in a very neighborly pastime. No. <laughs> oh, Sly. I see your mouth a moving, but all I hear is blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. If Joes need to blah, then let them blah. Blah. Okay, lovely. So this is actually an interesting boss fight where it's more of a platforming rhythm based boss fight whereas every other one is kind of combat based like pattern combat based. Oh, uh, I'm gonna get hit. Oh wow, I didn't get hit. Okay, cool. There we go, she teleports. God, the chickens. <laughs> Chumley. What's the catch? Oh, not much. Just a little game I like to play with all my annoying guests. I want to see how well you pay attention. What do you mean? Well, <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> I'll unleash my mighty mojo magic upon you. If you repeat what I do, you'll dodge it just fine. If not, You'll get set! <laughs> A little voodoo Simon says, huh? Sounds easy enough. Okay. Hey, hey, hey! Oh, 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 oh. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Ah, I, I didn't do it. Didn't, it didn't take my last input. Uh, not me. I think I think this is my. Uh, I think this is. I think this is where the the growing hatred of uh, rhythm games happened. Hey, hey, dig, dig, dig. Boo, boo, boo. It didn't take the circle again. You know, got it. Gotta love it when it just doesn't take the circle. <laughs> Uh, eating through my health. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. The they send out the note so much faster than you actually have to input the dodge. Right? They make you think it's super quick, but it's not. Okay. Oh, God. Friggin' sucks because it's literally all that for one hit. I like how Sly is actually saying it with them. Okay, I hit X. I refuse to allow you to tell me that I did not hit X. <laughs> Fucking sucks. Because you have to do it all from the start. Like this ba this boss fight takes forever. This boss fight sucks so much balls, dude. <laughs> like it's the worst boss fight. Yeah. 
Yeah, I, I, I even had the pity fucking thing. I already used it. Like, the circle one just sucks. I wonder if that's, like, a thing. Like, the timing on it is actually just off. At least on the triple circle. Okay, there we go. Ugh. Okay. Okay. here oh god fight sucks <laughs> ain't it oh well section of oh. the Raccoonus, held notes that from my sucks. pioneering ancestor, Slight in Common. Slight His invisibility common. technique allowed him to steal from corrupt pharaohs and greedy noblemen. Right on schedule, Inspector Fox's arrival cued my exit. The production of zombies, made illegal in the World Peace Accord of 71, earned Ms. Ruby a life sentence behind bars. While the gang and I enjoyed a few weeks in the tropical sunshine, working on our tans in preparation for our next caper. Ugh, okay. Glad to be done with that garbage fest of a level. Ugh, hate that. I hate that level. Uh, see, I do like how Murray's thing is main that is like, okay, you can watch him doing something, and that's like the where you're going next. I do like that. Okay. Let's go let's go to China. Ugh, gotta go fight a panda. Okay. Ooh. I hope everyone's doing well. So I was focusing very hard on those bosses. Or the boss, so I couldn't really talk all that much. Born penniless, he was fascinated by the fireworks rich noblemen set off every New Year's. He spent a decade learning the art. But when he tried to offer his fireworks to the noblemen, they couldn't see past his shabby clothes and chased him away. Humiliated, kind of an all around Easter primary look for one drop. By using the very Love it. Art for crime. Oh, he weaponized his the fireworks. He him as their demolitions expert. And from then on, his explosive touch became feared worldwide. Oh. He's rumored to be perfecting some new firework technique high in the unstable Kunlun Mountains of western China. Nice. Uh, yeah, it's always sucks in JRPG when you need like one drop for whatever reason, and it just does not want to happen. 
fire in the sky. Fire in the sky, burning in, in a smoke. On one Perilous ascent. Okay, so this also has its own thing. Oh god. Okay. Forgot what enemy types were in this uh, area. Okay, so 30. On the plus side, most enemies want to attack you and skills due to your increased as Okay, that's cool. So it's like, okay, you can wander around, but most enemies aren't going to even try to mess with you. Which I guess makes sense, right? Because most most animals wouldn't run a mess with you while you're in a in a truck. There you go. Okay. Um. There we go. Get you out of here. Because okay, I do need to always look back. Only well, downside if you hit small enemies, you launch them up, which starts a fight and that slows down. Ah, okay. How easy is it to like avoid enemies in the thing? Because I've never never really uh seen any gameplay. Like, are they at least responsive? Like the controls in the scale? Okay. I'd really like to get a a horseshoe charm. Firework! Uh, that's... Oh my gosh, that's awful! That poor village just got buried in freezing snow! The rocket came They're probably dead. You can bet the the king lit the fuse. Okay, okay. I'm find my way up there and it's not as precise as in Walker, but... Okay, so eight. Okay, so eight. Really wish the blueprints... Honestly, if I would say, I kind of wish the blueprint wasn't the third chest in every, um in every area. I wish it was, like, the first. Or second. Because, like, having it be the third chest, that means you have to get, like, essentially 50% of the chests in the area before you can even get the thing that lets you easily find out where the things you missed are. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, this is thing. Really cool camera angles, I will say. I do like this. It's neat. Got it. Nice! No more grinding for one item. And it, it's also neat because it's, like, vibrating my controller. Oh, yeah! Okay, so now if I'm in, like, the, uh, if I'm in the shadow, I can just hold circle and I just turn invisible. Pretty cool. I'm a really super sneaky guy. I'm a sneaky sly guy. Oh, my God. Okay, so we got rolling monkeys. Easy enough to go. Easy enough to not get hit by them, but still wanna. Or oh yeah, no. It's if, if I'm just standing still and I do it, I can do it like anywhere. It's neat. Okay, so I don't see any more clues, which is good. I, have ima I imagine the next power I'm going to get is probably going to be, like, the keep everything perpetually sped up power. Because I got the slow down one uh, outside of jumping. So, mine of, like, I'm imagining that the next one will be keep everything sped up even while I'm not jumping. Or is that already how it works? Okay, that's already how it works. Never mind. Okay, is there something behind me? Wouldn't surprise me. I don't trust you. <laughs> I, don't, I don't trust any game that forces your camera in one direction. <laughs> I'm so sneaky. They'll never find me. Here we go.
Okay, so there's the thing. Oh, bastard. Okay, well, at least there's the... At least there's the checkpoint. Don't like losing the lives, but I don't think you, there's any real big negative to game over. I think it's just you lose all your progress in whatever level you're in, and that's it. Okay, good, and now I have a hit. Hit, 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 hit. Okay, my, don't, don't worry about that cane that's there. I like how they're just tracked onto those guys, so you don't even have to worry about fighting them. Okay. How many? I have 14 out of 30. That is not a lot. Okay, that goes down. That goes down. So. 14 out of At least that's unlocked now, so when I come back, I can do it probably easily. Yeah, can do that. Yeah, they pulled the same Telethia scene in <laughs> X that he did in S1, but it really shows how tones can be different. Okay, interesting. This is a good or bad thing. Okay. Not too bad. Okay. I like how they put these up here to tell you you can actually get up there. Savagely annihilated the tin uh tough the rescue me from faces. Tan like I guess well dropping from Ooh, god damn. Okay. Okay. So does the God damn it! I had to use my triangle. Fuck, whatever. You know what? Screw it. I'm trying to kill one of them. Guys are pain in the ass. So if I do. Go. Just slowly do this. Slowly and methodically. There we go. Mine hat. Gotta love the mine hats. I will slowly but surely take out every single one of you and your friends with my freaking hats. My fashion sense is killer. But um -tch. Okay. Uh, 
Okay. Boink. Uh, hey, 50 million. Okay, savage. Uh, also, we got two more species. Oh, neat. the Orphan, I think, kind of bug based. Interesting. How's it going, 50 million? I hope you're doing well. Uh, did we all see the announcement that uh, Kuro 2 was going to be releasing in September? <laughs> and how much pain that kind of brings you based on knowing what game we get in September? <laughs> Uh, although NIS is teasing a some kind of announcement on Friday, so good to show today. Proto Not United, Cavern Clan are the ones working for Ganglion. Okay, nice. Okay. Yeah, I can't. Say. I mean, I also don't mind. It doesn't really matter in the long run. It's just one of those things where it's like, man, like. I feel like with most games, right, like, you look at it, it's like, okay, how far is the Western release behind another game? And, like, like b back, like, I think before Atlas switched over to being, like, very close to in terms of release day and stuff, it was, like, a year was probably, like, max. And then in that, and you just look at Trails and you're like, oh, they're, like, five. Um, okay. So let's pick this up. And I need one clue. I don't know where that one clue could be. I hope it's in, like, this forest somewhere. Um, it's pre-order out for Crow 2, all right? I don't know if the pre-order is out. I just saw that the, like, the announcements of some, uh, some of the people I follow on Twitter, like, they the, they know Japanese and can read, like, the Famitsu articles and stuff about, like, the release day and other de uh, details. Um, so I don't know if the pre-order is out. Uh, God damn it, where? Where, oh where? Because I would like to get the chest in the main area. Ah, uh, here we go. Boom. You sneakrit little bastard. Yeah, that way you don't have to come back to, like, the beginning area. <laughs> Hello. I'll kick him out. I got a real headache figuring this one out. Input five seven eight. Five seven eight. Ooh, I can definitely see how that would give you a headache. Not at all. Okay, what power? Give me the power. I need more power. Ugh. But yeah, yesterday I actually did a did a non-recorded run of uh, CS2 just to prep sa saves at the beginning of each section. Ooh, nice. Awesome. Um, yeah, I, uh, I I wanted to have a save at the start of every um, area. Or not every area, but the start of every like meaningful section. That way I could practice movement. Because I feel like that that's where... I mean, in New Game Plus, that's really where all the time is. <laughs> just moving to locations because the fights take so little time. Although I did um, I did try some fights with uh, some of the... Uh, I didn't look at the exact strats he did, but um, the other person that runs CS2, he uses Gaius instead of Sarah because Gaius has, like, Wild Rage as one of, like, the mech fight abilities uh, which gives 120 CP or 150 CP so you can use the moves more often. And I can definitely see it being very helpful against Scarlet. Um, I'm not sure how much it matters uh, against most other fights. Don't see it on Dengeki. Okay. Okay, now into Panda King proper. Mm. Okay, so let's see if I can't do this uh, relatively quickly. I say relatively quickly. It's not going to be super quick, but I don't think it'll be as long as uh, Ms. Ruby. There you go. Because Ms. Ruby was a long level. Annoyingly long level at that. Um, but first I need to figure out where to... Oh, here we go. Dude, that that's a cool waterfall. Uh, like, like, 
I feel like that's how you can make so many statues cool. They just make them waterfalls. No problem. They seem to have plenty of firepower around here. I'll just have to find a few more treasure keys to get at it. And the fact that it's like waterfall over his shoulders and not like out of his mouth or something. Okay, unseen foe. Cool. Okay, so this is probably gonna where it's gonna teach you. Like, hey, you need to use invisibility. But I already have the power to let me walk while I'm doing it. So that's pretty cool. Okay. So two there. Look around, make sure I didn't miss any at the start. Okay, good. And through the window, like a real fifi guy. I'm so Yep. Hold down the circle button to drop out of sight. While invisible, nothing can see you. Not lasers, not searchlights, not guards. Really? Oh, and if the guards already Laser search and guards. Pretty sure it just says fall 2022. Yeah, they re they said the release date I think was September 29th or 27th. Okay, and yeah, because you're not guaranteed to have the movement ability or movement uh thing. They uh They uh, had the ground be moving. Okay, boom, boom. Get those. Boom, boom, boom. Remember I said, way ho, way ho. Okay. Do, 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 do. Let's go refuel rate is so slow. How fast is it? Okay. Danny. You have a one fuel unit for three seconds. And how many fuel units do you need to really be able to operate for any good amount of time? Or basically how how much how much fuel is uh full? Okay. Check on Deku Goku in a few days or once a week to check for news. Okay. Uh, see, it, 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 I feel like Trails is definitely helping me in terms of my want to continue doing like Duolingo to at least try to be able to read Japanese. Cause it's like, okay, like, because like there are games that are like basically guaranteed to come to the West. Like, I can't imagine. The Trails game's not coming. It's just whatever timely fashion. But then I have to think of like all the games that aren't ever going to be localized, and I get sad. So I'm like, oh man, that's like it's so much. Like I can just imagine there being so many games that never really see the uh, light of day. Or I don't want to say light of day, but light of the western sky. Yeah. Yeah, I was worried that I was gonna have to redo it all. Boom. Because okay. uh, uh, I think I told it. Uh, I think I told this on the. I think when I was playing Luminous Arc One, uh, how one of the main reasons that actually got me to really just like start doing because I had known Duolingo existed for a while. I just never really wanted to do it. Um, but uh, uh, it was the third game in the Luminous Arc series uh, never got localized. And I was like, you know what? The the fan translation seems to have fallen off. Uh, I'm just going to, I'm going to, maybe I'll just try and learn it myself and maybe get good enough to be able to play through it. Um, now, apparently the fan translation did not fall off. They very much were active. Um, they just hadn't released, like, essentially a patch yet, but they released one at the end of, um, I think at the end of 2021. So, hopefully I can play that eventually. So they do mad bonus for them if you pay the premium price. Ah, uh, okay, okay. A whole bunch of really good, uh, really good, uh, DLC costumes. 
I mean, characters, couple, a few of the characters definitely look like they look pretty good in some costumes. Oh god damn it! Fucking horse. Uh, I was on the wrong one again. Wanted. Okay, so that's that. Uh, nope. And also get po. Oh yeah, poster. Nice. I've never been too much of a poster person. Uh, I think the last poster I got was when I was probably like ten from like Walmart. <laughs> Because they have all those, like, poster stands. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I, I, I've never been too much of, a, like, a decorator as well. Like, it took me essentially about a year before I even put anything up on the walls. And I'm talking about, like, the displays here. Like, the, these are the only things I actually have decorating my entire apartment. And I have, like, a kitchen area, a living room area. Like, it's not just this room. And I've just never... Never decorated. Okay. Yeah, we're just gonna do this. Nope. Okay, so let's just walk along, walk along, just to see it through. Walk along. Slowly. Oh, so slowly. There we go. Like an assassin. Like an assassin coming after your ass. No need to drop down. I and mean, you can just sneak through with your somehow odd ability to turn yourself invisible. Don't worry about it. Okay, how do I get over there? Is that a place that I'm going to be able to get? Okay. Okay, so I'm going. I'm coming back there because it's okay, good. The worry is, am I not coming back here? How do I? How do I get over there? If I am coming back, then the worry goes away immediately. <laughs> I need them coins. Cause I need. And the cool part is, I can just ignore these. Now it's very slow, so I don't really want to. Especially because you get a freebie, they don't immediately hurt you. So might as well just kind of take your chances at getting hurt. Um, and then going from there. Because like the first time they see you, they turn hurty. <laughs> the second time is when they actually do any any damage. There we go. Okay, so I need seven more. Seven more. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Okay, well, first of all, let's come back here. Okay, so that's definitely down to where the key is. So I wanna wanna keep going up. Because that's probably a good idea. To where the safe is, great. Um So I missed six. Where the heck could I have missed six? Unless they're in the drop area that uh that this is leading to. Tank God Japan can do air mail to Ireland again. Okay, nice. Who'd have thought? God, that. Oop. Okay, so I have no idea where the six could be. Damn. Okay, so I probably like missed a room somewhere that had a couple, that had a couple safes in it. Um, I'll come back to that one. Is that one? That one? I just do, I have no idea. Like most of the others, I'm like, okay, I have some ideas to how it how it worked, 
where I may have missed it, where I may have not. Like, oh yeah, I missed one here, so it was most undoubtedly like a, like one small one hidden in a crevice or something. This one's like, miss six. <laughs> Has to have been a room. Or I just didn't check a corner that had them. Wait, ages for Hajimari since COVID and had to get delivered by C. Oof. Oh, it's this. Uh, okay. I was hoping there's going to be a driving one. Yeah, these suck. Okay, does he have a... Yeah, he doesn't have any on. Okay. 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 Bingo. Okay. Gotta be careful. don't want to because like these things these levels take forever so when you have to redo them it really sucks Come on. Come on, Murray, you beautiful. Beautiful bastard. See, I also have to be very careful not to shoot him, because he will take damage and die. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, are you freaking... Uh Yep. I only have four lives left. Great. And you can't just rapid fire because you will kind of run out of ammo. Damn it, you bastard. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, the Murray levels, just in general, are are just not great. <laughs> like, because you're either driving in a poorly controlled truck, van, or you are doing this escort mission, which, you know, ubiquitous to any game, escort missions always suck. <laughs> like, I can't think of a game where escort missions are great. Because <laughs> it doesn't matter what genre of game. Like, they all, like, whether it's action, whether it's this, whether it's, um, uh, whether it's, like, uh, like turn-based strategy, like, just none of them are great. Bioshock Infinite? Uh, uh you know what? That one's all right. Does, um, does What's-Her-Face even have health in that game? Like, because, like, I, I always saw her as more of, like, a, a, almost like a supply kind of thing. Where it's like, oh, yeah, sometimes she'll just give you a weapon or whatever. Okay. There we go. Elizabeth is not, but you are escorting. Okay. Yeah, I'm not, I'm talking about where it's, like, you have to escort in, like, a fail state is... The, uh...
God. Oh, you bastards. You have to be, like, luckily, I feel like they probably playtested these levels quite a bit, and we're like, okay, we'll add more splash to the to the bullets and rockets. That, because, like, otherwise, if you had to be pinpoint with your stuff, oh, it would be next to unbeatable, and it would not be great. Um, did I? I did that one. Okay, so here we go. I'm just gonna do this. Do you attack me if you touch me? No? Okay, cool. Uh, flaming Temple of Flame. <laughs> the Flaming Temple of Flame! Hmm. Okay, so let's hope I can get... There we go. Cooler than you. So let's hope I can get all the cool things. Okay. Yeah, screw it. There we go. Good. Have you ever seen Ashley's suplex from RE4? Uh, is she suplex? I never. I don't think I've ever seen her suplex. I think I've only ever seen her like kick. Right? Because that's like when an enemy is close to down by Leon or something. I, I can't quite remember. Our Resident Evil is one of those ones where I've only ever seen other people play through it because I have no real interest in playing it. But uh, the remake did get announced. Okay, really? Bastard. Okay, so is this... I'm gonna presume that that's some kind of drop. It's only if you send an enemy, which I'm not sure if it's possible, besides in the video I saw. Okay. Let's presume I'm gonna be going around the outer edge. Okay. Let's just wait for the final one. So I already lost my. I already lost my gimme hit. Take that. <laughs> Basically, you open a door, stone a monk or wherever they are, and then you do the action input for an over-the-shoulder suplex. Damn, okay. Like a shoulder throw or something. But yeah, suplexes are always the coolest things in games. Come on. There we go. God, only have fun. Hopefully, this level goes for a bit longer. Because I definitely, because I think this will be the third one I get in this world. So that'll make the other room a lot easier to, uh, or the uh, other level to a lot easier to get the other stuff for. Uh, okay. Okay. I don't think I ever went around to the other side of that thing. So did I have to make that jump with? like the idea of having to redo stages, but I will. Cause I don't I, I think there I'm not sure if there are any moves you unlock in the final stage. They don't it doesn't ring a bell. Yeah. Come on. Come on, you bastard. Thank you guys for being so chill about this. Got you gotta hit the gong. Uh yeah, you, you present me with a gong, yes, I'm going to hit it. <laughs> okay, here we are. This is the this is where what is it where? No, it's not where. Okay. Is this just coin? Yeah, it's just coin. Don't need coin. I mean, I need coin, but I don't need it as much as I 
desire clues. This coin, relatively, relatively abundant. But clues. They're sneaker. They're, they're hidden all sly, sly like. Sly, get it? Sly Cooper. I'm so funny! Yeah, no. <laughs> uh, is this? Uh, yeah, it's right down here. Um. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay, right down there and it gets you back up. Perfect. How much is 16 out of 25? There we go. Unfortunate slide timing. There we go. Easy peasy. Lemon cheesy. Okay, so there's a chest that I need to break open. I do like how Sly just says, screw lockpicking with the mini chests. It's like, I can just... It's like, uh, I don't have time for this. Just break it open. <laughs> it's like, ah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Who needs finesse? I'm not a, I'm not that much of a thief. And I just need, I just need to have enough strength to break everything open. <laughs> okay, so you know, let's check these out first. And then if this seems like hard prog, oh yeah, this is hard prog. I don't need hard prog right now. I need soft prog. Have you ever played the old Tenchu games on the PS One? No, I, I haven't. I never had a PlayStation One. Had a my brother had an N sixty four, so that was kind of that generation. I've only played a PS One once. Yeah, and I think I played Crash Bandicoot on it. Was not impressed. Not like in terms of like a graphical thing or whatever. I just don't like platformers. <laughs> so, not really anything for me to uh, get out of it. Okay, so now if I can get some coins and stuff to replenish my health while I have all these, while I have the gold, that would be pretty cool. Don't think I will, but I mean, it would be cool if I could. Because <laughs> I know my abilities. I know how, how this game is going to steal these from me. Okay, so... There we go. Okay, well... Shit. Um... I don't even know where the safe is in... Oh, wait, there's the safe. Okay. So I'm missing two somewhere. God damn it. See, this one really sucks because I have no idea where the two could be. Ugh. Yeah, because these levels are big. Yeah, so unless... Because I really thought I was clearing it up. It'd be cool if there was a... a sly power to tell you, like, Oh, hey, there's a... There's a clue nearby. Does this lead down, too? No, this is... I don't have the blueprints, which is what I thought I was going to be getting here. Son of a bitch. Ugh. I want every power up, but of course they make the last two levels the most annoying ones to get all of them in. Because I have, I, I have no idea where the last two could be. Like it, I must have missed one safe. That must have been what I did. Like a, One safe somewhere. I have no idea. Okay. 
Well, that's all three levels out here, of which I completed. So actually, I got Perilous Ascents one. And I missed that one. Okay, so that means, yeah, so I I wouldn't even be getting the blueprints on the next one. I would have to wait until I still have to get one of them, and then the th the other one would have the blueprint. Ugh, that blows. But I'll do this for right now. Cause I want all those. Okay, I don't know. Oh, okay. This opens this up. I calculated the trajectory of these rockets. <laughs> Whole bunch of locks. I'm 99% sure you'll be able to ride them all the way to the top of that statue before they explode. Hmm. What about that other 1%? Well, in that case, Sly, you will be blown to bits. But the experience will no doubt be spectacular. Nice. Nice. <laughs> Right on. I'll steal him in no time. Okay. So, you might as well just start with this. Probably supposed to drop behind him, but I refuse. I have the ability to uh, walk while invisible. I'm going to use it. Even if the uh, time loss is immensely desperate. Race. Okay, so another... Another race. Love it. Okay. What are, you, what are you doing down there? Well, I'm minding my post when I notice this snow cone stand, and I think to myself, hey, Murray, you got to keep your energy up. So I hurry over here, and then all of a sudden, monkeys are everywhere, bugging me to race them three times around this track for a key. You could use the key. Think you could take them? Come on, Sly. They're a pack of monkeys. How can I lose? Wow. Steer with the left stick and press square to use any nitro boost you collect. Keep clear of those icy patches. Thanks for the gonna suck. <laughs> probably gonna probably gonna take two or three attempts. Okay. So the race is pretty RNG dependent. Um, you gotta be lucky with whether the uh, enemy racers pick up nitro in place of you, and whether or not they. Uh, are kind to you in terms of their racing abilities because like as you saw they they can roll as well or they can roll in the first place and just be terrible um however that doesn't mean you are always guaranteed that yeah so good so now if I can keep my lead, which may or may not be likely, I will be safe. Because I don't trust the, this game's, uh, what do you call it, rubber banding. I'm more likely to believe that the rubber banding is in favor of the NPCs than you. If there's even any rubber banding at all. Because this is, I think, the best race I think I've ever had, for being real here. <laughs> so let's not jinx it. Let's be very careful. Okay, get that. See, now I've, I definitely did get lucky with that, like, a whole bunch of them roll over at the start, immediately getting to second place. Like, damn, I was not expecting a first try on this. <laughs> because even in mugshots, where they introduce it, I took two attempts. But look at me. Yeah, whoop whoop. Let's, I'll take some dabs on that. Because <laughs> the, the, the racing ones can be a nightmare. That's really what it comes down to. Like, I, without a doubt, just got lucky. Um, okay. Okay. Damn it. Damn it. Come on. Oh, great. Another one of these. Yeah. 
we go. Uh, oh well. Gotta do it. Rapid fire assault. Yeah. I figure I might as well do these levels before going back to the other ones to try and get the secrets. Good to know that this isn't a, a swamp skiff, because we're not in the swamp anymore. But, it's like, okay, we introduced this asset, we really want to make sure we get our, uh, our money's worth. Which makes sense, right? Like, you make something, you definitely want it to be, uh, used as much as possible, but it's important to realize that there are limits to everything. And I think they did. Right, because it's like, shows up in the third out of five levels, and it... It doesn't I feel I feel like it doesn't overstay its welcome. There there are what two levels that use it in uh there are two levels that use it in the uh swamp and then this is one here and I think it gets used one last time in uh in the final level. And these levels are a pretty dang good way of like getting a bunch of money. God damn it. Of course, friggin' sucks that. I was literally trying to build up to extra lives with that gold, but now they took it and I got my gold back. I mean, at least I still have it, but it's still unfortunate. As far as I can actually kill these guys. Okay. Yeah, for whatever reason, it just didn't let me through the broken part. Love to see it. Okay. Maybe you have to have two broken ones to be uh, able to get through. Okay. I feel, like this, I feel like this level isn't as annoying as the swamp one, just because the ghosts aren't as... or just because the enemies don't seem to be as numerous as the ghosts were. Just disappears. Swamp skip good just disappears into the ether. We're not gonna worry about it. Yeet. Okay. So that's that one. So it did that level. That level. Need to go up to this level. Right, because, yeah, I think that's it. Get out of here. Duel by the dragon. Okay, so there's another one where I have a chance of getting um, a, a move 40. Okay. See, when there's a lot of them, I get worried. Because the more clues that there are, the more that you can miss. And I need to get at least this one and one of the others before I can get a, uh, before I can get the blueprints. Oh, okay. It's Carmelina level. Not too bad. Shut up, Ringtail. I don't know what you're doing here in China, but I'm sure it can't be good for whoever owns this place. You must only have eyes for me if you're too blind to see what's going on around here. All I see is a pathetic thief who's escaped justice for far too long. I'm proud to be a thief, especially when I'm stealing from a vicious extortionist like the Panda King. Open your eyes, detective. These quaint temples are a front for an illegal explosives factory. Don't try to confuse the issue. 
You criminals are all the same, and none of you can escape justice. I mean, I seem to be able to escape justice pretty, pretty easily, given how long you've been trying to catch me and failing spectacularly. Uh, 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 excuse me, excuse me. Just need to get that real quick. Don't want to miss those. Uh, yeah, just gonna... Okay, great, love it. See, I don't like the exact. I don't like that they're they're the flame ones right now, given that um I'm being shot at, making their traversal double timed. Where I have to time it through. I have to time it through her shooting and also their natural timing. Very careful not to miss any. If anyone sees any, please feel free to tell me. I want to make sure I can... Because this one, I definitely seem to have some level of being able to go back. Okay, good. She's, I think she's stopped chasing me for right now. Because there's always a small section in the chase levels where they're... Uh, 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 I, I, I say. <laughs> and immediately get proven wrong. Okay. This is why you shouldn't say things. The more things you say, the more light, the more things that you can get wrong. <laughs> Never say anything at all. And then you'll, then you'll never be proven wrong by your own words. Of course, wouldn't be a very entertaining stream, but <laughs> but it's all about being right, though. Nah, people, be proud of when you're wrong. Ah, well, don't be proud of any when you're wrong. Be proud of that you. Be proud of the fact that you've learned and are now not wrong. Right? It's all about learning. That's the important thing. Okay, where? Bastard, get out of my way. <laughs> that basically functions as it is. No, they introduced the creature known as Cantors. Oh, okay. Interesting. So, super aggressive things that will just hunt you and kill you. Okay. okay I need two clues. Please let them be here. Oh god. Please let them be near here. Please, oh god. Let them be around here. Anyways, the eh, must be good spoilers. I'll be there. No. God damn it. Okay. How far back can I go? Come back here. Ugh. Okay, I'm just gonna have to redo this level. Eh, at least it's the last level before the boss, so 
gets to that, I can just go back. All humans in the are currently robots, so how would eggs game planet? Oh, wow, okay, interesting. Oh, wow, that's... That... <laughs> that is a big spoiler. Jesus, okay. So are they just a whole bunch of robots that think they're people? <laughs> like, that's what they've been programmed? Like, because, like, doesn't the game start with you coming out of, like, cryostasis or something like that? But I guess it's not that. Okay. Yes, where, oh, where could these two clues rise to? Yes, two. Need two clues. I don't know where those two are. Freeze, raccoon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My heart yeah. The very sight of you. Shut up, Ringtail. I don't know what you're doing. Oh, my God. Why do I have to listen to this? this place. Come on. You only have eyes for me if you're too blind to see what's going on around here. All I see is a pathetic thief who's escaped. Basically, they didn't know how long an exodus would take, so all humans were cryoed, and they Especially made the mimosomes to simulate their bodies. Oh, okay. Your eyes, detective. These quaint temples are a front for an illegal explosive. Come on, why can't I skip this? You criminals are all the same, and none of you can escape. They could still protect the ship and work. Oh uh, yeah, gotta make, gotta make sure you can work. Okay, so where, oh where, could two of the things have been? So let's check down here. No, I made sure to get those. Okay. Yeah, I think the problem was I probably went down to one of those areas, but didn't turn around to see, maybe. Okay, great. Love it. Oh, right here. There we go. Baby. Hey, baby, it's a triple. There we go. It's unfortunate that I lost a, uh... Ah, uh, okay, so they gave you two options. It's unfortunate that I lost my health thing. But, oh well. Now I can not worry at all about the, uh... Like, th these levels will go by a lot faster when... You don't have to think about getting more than one thing. I guess I don't have to really think about getting more than one thing now. It's just getting the one thing while I'm also getting the other main thing, i.e. the end of the level thing. Uh, but that gets told you in like the first third of the game. Okay. How far are you in the game? Are you like in the latter half at this point? Like, like the... Uh, Two thirds of the way, three fourths. Luckily, you don't really have to time your movement through these if you're just holding. She only fires at a certain rate, so it's made so you can get through. Uh, yeah, 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 like 40%, just a 29% survey. Yeah, I, mean, I, I feel like the survey is a bit, uh, bit much, right? There's a whole bunch of stuff that you have to do for the survey. Like, I feel like you could probably beat the game at, like, less than 15%, I would imagine, based on the, uh, rate at which it seems, based on the things that you've, uh, you've talked about. I'm 100%ing this game? Damn, okay. That's gonna- oh, are you freaking serious? Come on! You dumb bitch. Fucking Carmelita Fox. Fucking corrupt cop. Okay. You should have requirements to start? Oh, wow, okay. So you have to explore. That's not good, Bentley. Two, three, one. Well, even at any percent speedrun, you have to do some exploring. Okay, interesting. Okay, so incredible! I never would have thought this was possible. Sir Augustine of Cooper's technique to briefly defy gravity. Oh. From now on, you should be able to pop right out of those bottomless pits. Nice. Into, Perfect. You won't even lose a lucky charm. Okay, that's great. That's awesome. So now water and. The void 
are safer than taking an enemy hit. <laughs> That's awesome. Like, so that just gives me an out. It's like, oh crap, I'm about to get hit by these guys. Just freaking jump. Yep. <laughs> Take whatever higher level party guest is available. Okay. I mean, yeah. Because I guess if you're just going from point to point to point, if the guest is strong enough, then that's probably the best way to do it. Um, okay. So let's... So I didn't get this one. Flaming Temple of Flame. Uh, yeah, let's do this. Flaming Temple of Flame. Because this is the one where I missed six, I think. This is one where I missed two. So I probably missed, like, one chest somewhere. And I should be able to... Hopefully I should be able to find a chest. Because that's where it usually is. Like, if you're missing two, you missed either a pair or a chest. Um, great chest hit. Now, the issue, I would say, is this level is not small. Um, it's one where having the Banakukom would be pretty darn awesome. However, beggars can't be choosers. I just need to make sure I take a look around everywhere I go, and that will be... I'll just have to suffice. There we go. I'm not taking a free hit on that guy again. And I can still, like, look around. I got those. See, I will say the game is at least nice enough where, um... Right, like, the game, they're, they're probably like, okay, these clues are a bit annoying to find, so we're going to make them jump up and down. Right, like, that was probably their, um, their, uh, like, oh my god. Yup, here we go. That was probably their trade-off, where it's like, okay, we still want this thing, we still want to have these hiding spots, or have them around. But the only realistic way we can do it without being unattainable is have them be a bit noticeable. Okay. So yeah, that those ones were sneaky. Okay, but now I can just hopefully run past most things. Or at least quickly get rid of them. Okay. Here. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> it knew something was wrong. It didn't know exactly what, though. <laughs> okay, get over there. And I don't think that this level is actually all that long. I think it's just a very vertical level. That gives almost the illusion of, uh... It gives the illusion of, like, a big level. So I think... I think I'm pretty darn close to the end already, right? Like... There we go, get you out of the way. Oop, I don't wanna take my hand off. There we go. Don't even... Need to bother with it. Whatever. There we go. And... What is it? Music is loud. Chaos theory. Uh, nine. Nope. Three. Two. Okay. So this sh should be the blueprints, which will make the other one easy to get. <laughs> 
Perfect. Ugh. Dun, dun, dun. And this is the six one, so this should lead me to what I presume is a room of chests. <laughs> um. Ooh, 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 ooh. But... So one interesting thing about uh about um the uh the uh, DS4 to Windows is it makes your mouse it makes the trackpad a mouse. <laughs> so I accidentally clicked uh on OBS <laughs> which is freaking hilarious. Okay, view map. So I think it was this one, the unseen file. Okay. That's red. Okay, so there's green in here, in the first building that I'm going into. On what seems to be, like, the second level. So I need to see how I get that. Is there a way up there? Or is that just... Or do I get there naturally, somehow? Oh, do I have to jump up on these trees? Or wait, no, that's naturally, yeah. Right, because... Yeah, they're just there. Huh, okay. Okay, do that. Like that. Damn it. Uh, honestly, I should have just taken the void. Because, as we've discussed, that is actually a better option. <laughs> that was close. Okay, so now... Where are they? Over there? That's red. Red, okay, so up there and also there. So... Do I need to... Ah, uh, here we go. It's okay, so two here. 26. And four up there. So I need to go one level up. Somehow. Is this not a way I tried to explore, or is this not actually a way? Or maybe I went there before. Yeah, you go back there to the hooks. Okay. Get out of here. Don't got time for you. Don't got time for that. Yeah, I definitely never would have uh, been able to find these without the Banaki comms. Without the blueprints. So I'm glad I was able to get it. Ugh, forehead itchy. Knees weak, arms sweaty. <laughs> okay. You come over here. Oh my god, are you serious? They were just hanging here? And I never... I swear, how did I miss those? Wow, I'm a fool. Mom's spaghetti! 
Okay, perfect. Yeah. Now I feel like a big idiot. See, I bet that's one of those things where I probably saw them when I initially went through. But when I, like, went, when I was actually playing, I was like, oh, I'll come back and get those, like, in my head. But then, lo and behold, never actually went back. God damn it. Are you freaking serious? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Went through all of that just to be told, hey, you have to beat the game first. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Come on. At least tell me that when I go there the first time <laughs> without all the clues. Ugh. Let me tell you, you guys aren't you guys aren't gonna be seeing that. Not getting that one. Once I beat the game, done. <laughs> Once I beat the game, I pick the I pick the waifu, and that's it. I see you carry cane of notorious Koopa and <laughs> have you come here for revenge? To steal back the previous Raccoonus. That was my plan at first. But now I'm more interested in putting an end to your avalanche extortion racket. Why should you care if I bury a few worthless village in snow? You are a thief, just like me. No, that's only half right. I am a thief from a long line of master thieves. While you, you're just a frustrated firework artist turned homicidal pyromaniac. Insolent child. Insolent. You shall pay dearly for your disrespect. Still. To honor your Cooper ancestry, I will send you to your doom with the beauty of my new firework technique, Flame Foo. Oh, Flame Foo. Oh, gotta be careful. See, luckily this boss isn't too tough to get up to, but he is, he actually does have quite a few attacks. Uh, so you do have to be a little bit careful. But you don't... But the entire idea is like you're meant to kind of like hide behind these things to let uh to get a little bit of uh relief to be able to be able to fight him but you can just run in a circle he is probably one of the easiest bosses after raleigh there we go first try been since Rally since I got first try. <laughs> that game is unparalleled. A lot, lot better than Ms. Ruby. Sly, I did a cross analysis of the metal used in that high tech blasting vehicle, and it turns out it can only be found in one place the Krakatoff volcano in Russia. That's the <laughs> Uh, Retrieving the Panda King section time to go to Russia. gave me a chance to learn about my technically minded ancestor, Otto Van Cooper. Otto Van Not Cooper. known for his physical dexterity, Otto relied on vehicles to aid him in his criminal endeavors. Armed with his designs, I was sure Murray would be able to make some cool modifications to the team van. Oh yeah. A frustrated Inspector Fox having missed me coming down the mountain, threw the Panda King in jail, thus putting an end to his avalanche protection services and ensuring the safety of mountain villages throughout China. Yay! My gang and I took a little time off and did some shopping in Hong Kong. Thoroughly relaxed, we headed home to plan our next move. Rickshaw escape. <laughs> uh. 
Okay, so, so, see, three out of four really annoys me, right? <laughs> like, I went through all that trouble to get the blueprints to make sure I could get all the clues in that one level, and then, for whatever reason, they make it that one level, right? Because it, it, it would be different if there was one... It'd be different if there was one safe in every level that it's like, hey, you gotta beat the game to get it, right? Like, that would be understandable in my head in some sick, twisted way, <laughs> right? Where it's like, okay, fine. There's one in every level that you can't get until you beat the game. Okay. But the fact that they put it in the fourth level, right before the last level, just one random one, makes no sense to me. Like, why? What's so special about that one move? It's basically New Game Plus. You'll love that. Yeah, right? I love it. Hey, hey Raz, hope you're doing well. Would you mind, like, Googling what the last power is? Like, the last one you get there? Because... I'm curious. A trip to Clockworks where? Like, I'm not I'm not doing the final level tonight. I'm going to be ending this stream soon. But I want to know what that last power is. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so now Bentley doesn't really have any place to sit. Uh, or uh, now Murray doesn't have any last place to sit. Because he sat in front of, essentially, what the next place you went to is. Um, and now we're, that's the last level of the game. So now he's just sitting next to Bentley. Which, um, you know, weird. Just off my memory, I think you survive falls. I got the I got the abyss one where if you go out into the abyss, you you don't die. Um, let me it's like Cooper one saves um vaults um uh you can get raccoons, clue bottles. Power up yet? Yeah. What are where are the power up? So move on visible briefly to defy gravity stun. Uh, Sly strikes the ground with his cane, causing all guards to freeze in time for a few seconds. Will not be available for cleaning the story invented by Colonel Reed Cooper as the time stopper. Damn. Okay. So that's that 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 is like, hey, just you know, stop it. <laughs> okay, neat. I can see why they don't want you getting that before the end of the game. Uh, however, still sucks that they're doing that. Oh, good shoulder cracks. Um, okay, so let's save game. Uh, I'll save there. Um, yeah, look at that. Okay, so. Probably good for the time trials. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, it stops enemies. So it would probably be best for time trials that have a lot of them, right? Like, especially in Ms. Ruby's areas that have just a shit ton of those ghosts. <laughs> Although most of the time you find those ghosts, they're, like, at the end of uh, the, uh, the rails. So you have to... Uh, so you probably can't even use them it, like that anyway. But... Uh, this is where, uh, I am gonna call the stream because, uh, I have been going for two and a half hours and I think the, I think the last, um, okay, so the ORF do not reproduce. Oh, okay. Interesting. Um, they divide by fission. <laughs> Okay, you don't really see a lot of uh, JRPG races dividing by fission. Huh. But uh, yeah, so this is where I'm going to end the stream because I want the next Sly Cooper stream to be the last one and I'll be doing the final level uh, and beating the crap out of clockwork. So one life ends and becomes two. Ah, interesting. So um... Yeah, so with that, thank you, Akainer Uwu, for uh, the follow. Much appreciated. Thank you, Fontano, Rias, Mr. Light, uh, and anyone else that dropped 50 Mira. Thank you as well for dropping by. Um, it was great talking to you all, and uh, I hope you'll join me when I stream next on Friday. Bye! <laughs>